Welcome back here on Live Now from Fox. And I do want to get to a developing story out of the New York City area where police are searching for a pair of squatters who they say may be tied to the murder of a woman. Her body found stuffed inside a duffel bag inside her apartment. Very disturbing details here. Briella Tomasetti with our Fox 5 New York team joining us live with what we know so far. Good morning, Briella. Yeah, Josh, this case is more than a week old, but police are finally starting to sort out some of these details. Having just flown in from abroad, the 52-year-old victim, Nadia Vittel, stopped by her late mother's apartment here in Kipps Bay. It's uh, right here in my rear view. And she was getting it ready for a family friend to move in. Cops say, though, when she unexpectedly found those squatters inside, that's when things took a turn for the worse. The NYPD has new insight on who may be connected to the murder of a woman whose body was found stuffed inside a duffel bag in her Manhattan apartment. Investigators are looking for a pair of squatters, a man and a woman, who they believe were staying in the apartment prior to the gruesome discovery. Police say 52-year-old Nadia Vittel was last seen walking into her apartment building on East 31st Street in Kipps Bay last Tuesday. It came as a complete shock and surprise, you know. I didn't even know. Gene Pompey is the building superintendent. He says surveillance video shows Vittel getting in the elevator and going up to her apartment on the 19th floor. A friend called to make a wellness check, but there was no answer. So I went up, knock on the door. I was just only the dog barking. Shortly afterwards, the victim's son and two in-laws arrived to Vittel's apartment. When police got there, Vittel's lifeless body was found in the closet, stashed inside a duffel bag. Investigators claim she was beaten to death. When I came into work, there was an ambulance here and one cop car. Police allege the squatters had been staying in Vittel's apartment for days, and when she returned, the pair killed her and took off in her SUV. Security cameras captured the suspects coming in on Sunday and leaving Tuesday afternoon, the same day Vittel was last seen. It's believed that they drove her car across the George Washington Bridge into New Jersey and then into Pennsylvania where they crashed the vehicle. It's scary when something like this happens. You, you always expect it to happen somewhere else and not in your own neighborhood. Republican State Assemblyman Jake Blumenkranz has filed a bill that would make it easier for homeowners to remove squatters from their properties. Under New York State law, people who claim their tenants can't be arrested for trespassing. That also means homeowners can't change the locks, get rid of their stuff, or shut off the electricity. The bill would allow police to intervene and make arrests instead of forcing homeowners into an arduous court process. Yeah, and speaking of tenants' rights, a lot of states do give tenants the upper hand. Now, this bill states that tenants do not include squatters and give people rights after 45 days rather than the current 30 days, considering most short-term rentals here in New York City require the tenant, uh, the tenant excuse me, to stay for at least a month. For now, we're live here in Kipps Bay, though. Josh, we'll send it back to you. All right, Briella Tomasetti there with our Fox 5 New York team. A very uh, disturbing story there. We'll stick in touch with you uh, for any updates. Briella, thank you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me.